Thank you, Odi Pixel and Piketon. Indeed, welcome back to the panel. That game was probably the longest game we've had all day. Yep. Might have been as long as the whole series combined. <laughs> honestly, that's how long that game was. Yeah, man. Yeah. And it was a it that was a, was good, a good game. I mm -hmm. liked it. There was a lot of comebacks. There was a lot of throws and then anti throws. It could have really been either one of the team's game, and it was a lot of fun. Drasko, what'd you think, man? I mean, it was an exciting game for sure. Mm -hmm. I really thought, though, that at the beginning of the game, you know, first 10, 15 minutes, it really just seemed like Empire just kicked it up, mm -hmm. you know? They were just like, okay, we're going to we're gonna dominate, and we're going to use our gyro very aggressively, go across the map, start team fights with Puck. Scandal, I think, at some point was beyond godlike, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden, we we found out why Puck always loses. <laughs> <laughs> I believe, uh, I believe yeah. Pike put a, you know, um, Pat, uh, Puck died once, Gave the gold to Invoker and Sven, it was, yeah, it's, and they can use the gold better than a Puck can. It's yeah. heartbreaking because this is the biggest reason why I think in the first game that Puck was on the same team as a Lone Druid is because it's not necessarily about just having the damage behind the coil. Mm -hmm. It's about having the capability of going high ground. I think that's one of the biggest issues that they actually ran into this game. And of course, going high ground yeah. against Batrider is also tough. Yeah. So in that sense, I think you need like that that meat wall where you can just put it in front of the puck and be like, okay, you know, we got. You need the tank. Yeah, we we need a tank. Oh, we need a freaking there tank. We, go again. <laughs> we need a hero who can actually <laughs> siege. That's the biggest issue because Chiro, yeah, okay, you can kind of siege, but you typically build like this Helm of the Dominator, S and Y, B K B, not the greatest high ground type of items, right? right? It's it's to win fights. That's the mm -hmm. whole purpose of the gyro. How but much uh, do you consider Void to be a possible tank? Now, not in this game, obviously. Kind uh, of. He, I mean, here, he is a tanky hero by nature, but he's yeah. more of a team fighter. Okay. So they had a lot of team fighting heroes, but they didn't have a lot of heroes that could actually kill tier three towers. So like, you get this kill with a lone druid on a puck, and then you know your bear demolishes the tower in like 10, 15 seconds, even with just a radiance, right? They didn't have that kind of oh, we can actually just transition this fight into a rax. Mm. It's oh, we we got a kill or two. They have a lot of wave clear on the enemy team, and they have a bat. So going high ground became very difficult for them. So what you're saying was we were right, huh? Yeah, we, we were right. We were right. We were yes, right. got Half. it. All right, he was right. half right. I mean, this is actually a perfect example of why I can never say a puck's going to win. This game <laughs> is a perfect... And it's not like I don't like the hero. I love the hero. Right. He's we one of my we favorites. We saw win previous game. Yeah, but that, I, I think that was like the perfect puck draft. Okay. Like, they they knew exactly how to build the team around it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, they had just a ton of team fight already. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, as you were saying, like the puck was just... Too much. I mean, it could have been a different role that you could have put in there. Something well, else to do something better. Mm. The safe laner is really, I think, what... Because it, it's hard to say that the safe laner is, was a bad choice because the gyro obviously did a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But the gyro is, again, a fighting hero. Void's a fighting hero. Puck's a fighting hero. Lots of stuff to control the tempo of the game. You know, play fast pace. That's all great. But then when a push comes to shove, how do we end the game? Yeah. You know, that they have to be ahead, I think, by a pretty wide margin at, at any stage in order to win that game. And mm -hmm. I, it's like PyCat was saying, the Sven didn't even have a lot more net worth. But as soon as he picks up that MKB, game got real hard for <sighs> Gyro real right. fast. Because yeah. he, uh, back in the day, like, you know, 2013, 2014, when Gyro was starting to get picked all the time, people were picking Sven into Gyro and like Ursa and all these other heroes because they deal substantial single target DPS. Yeah. And as soon as the butterfly became ineffective, the Gyro became ineffective because you can no longer stand and fight the Sven. He does way too much damage. It was nice to see Sven actually come out with a victory after being super farmed. We've seen that a yeah. lot today where yeah. Sven makes a ton of money He's the top of the net worth, and he still loses. So still doesn't make it. Happy to see the guy uh, be able to stretch those muscles a little bit, and those are some big muscles to stretch. So. Yeah, definitely true. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a highlight that uh, might showcase that exactly. So let's take a look at that Ooh. as uh, we go into the. There should <laughs> be right. like the the dream music. Is that dream music? Like, Sounds yeah. like some like, like going James into Bond the dream transition. Is like, mm. Mm. The flashback music. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, on. here's our. Puck doing work yet again. This is where Puck hasn't died yet, mm. and this is a fight where he actually will die for the first time. And here's what you're talking about, this big spin initiation on the gyro, yeah. as we said, that he, huge DPS. He's at like 30% life without even having popped BKB. Pause. Yeah, we can, we can pause here. So it, it, even at the start of this fight, right, you take into consideration all the things that have happened. If I force the gyro out of the team fight and I'm Sven and we've both popped our BKBs and this gyro can't come back in, I feel pretty confident. Sven won that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yes. I feel pretty confident that this team fight's already going in my favor. Because mm -hmm. this guy comes back, his BKB is going to be down. I'm Sven, so I'm super tanky. And the rest of the Vampire, they don't really do a ton of damage. It's just the Gyro. He is the one who is carrying the DPS for the team at this stage in the game. Whereas Vega, they have Invoker, they have a Lion Finger, 
that they can also use in the gyro if he comes back. They have obviously Sven right clicks. They have Enchantress, which I also think was a little bit understated that game. Did a ton of damage. During the last engagement, she was the reason why they killed the gyro with this with FN being dead. Like FN got swapped out of a coil, but anyway. We continue the replay here. Yep. And PyCat mentioned this during the game. Scandal <laughs> getting caught in this ice wall. This right. Fen just has God Strength on. Oh. And yeah, there's, this there's is no, like deer in a headlight, oh, where right? Where are you going to go? You just see the truck running at you, and, that, and you're just like, oh, all right, life Take is hard. Take a look at that. Oh, 1,030. Yeah, and yeah, the, the really kill. bad part about this, too, was FN didn't even have to use his stun on Scandal because he dealt so much damage. And like they, they already, at this point, that Oof. auto attack doesn't get disjointed, by the way. Swap is not disjoint. Um, auto attack. So Oof. this is a fight where... You know, your gyro tries to reinitiate because he realizes how important the fight is, but because of the fact that his BKB was popped oh, so early... I was drawing the gold graph. That's okay. <laughs> it's not a not an easy fight for gyro. No. Because no. I think that was right after FN got his MKB that that fight happened. Yeah, that was like the turning point. MKB yeah. was there, first fight. That was the big fight. The puck dies. The big fight. That was the first time the puck died. And, and at that point, it was, the, the reason I wanted to draw the gold graph is because it was above the line the whole time and above the line means that the, the radiant is doing quite well and radiant was empire and then all of a sudden it just it just plummets in favor yep. of of uh, vega and i was i basically that said it all it's yeah, like yeah. you know you've had your your fun long enough we're, we're done with this we're gonna end it here right now and <laughs> and they, that's basically what they did Sven things happened yeah for sure but could they have won if puck never died Mm, I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. I believe uh, we can. Uh, well, we can ask that question if you want to. But hello, Mag. Yeah. Hey. Hello, guys. Congratulations hello. on your series. Woohoo! Uh, thank you. Uh, I have a question. <laughs> uh, you ran Puck in your first game here, and it went really well, and you won with it. And then Empire tried it, and it started out really well, and then it kind of failed. Why? What makes a perfect puck game, and why did it work for you, but not for them? I don't know. Actually, in first game, we got a very simple uh, strategy like puck and on druid. It's mm -hmm. pretty good combo. But uh, we just finished much early with puck. We got uh, early domination, and it was a much different game compared to game two. Okay. All right. Mag, you guys are doing great. You're my prediction to win the league, so keep it up. Uh, question for you though, uh, you guys, there's a lot of swapping going around in your region and you guys are staying pretty strong. I think you only had one swap. So what makes your team good enough to keep together and where do you get that success from in your team? Uh, team synergy and I don't know, the, the things that we was playing uh, really for a long time with the same roster make us uh, kind of really good friends. Mm. And um, I don't know. I think this is the main thing. All right, I got one more question. It's a very easy one, though. Uh, are we ever going to see some Broodmother? Do you guys like to play Broodmother? <laughs> when will the Broodmother come? Do you want to play Brood? Yeah. I want to, but I'm not sure, like, it's very situational and it's not so good in current meta. Uh, so that's why you won't see it yeah, but so often. Yeah, and they ban it almost every single time against you as well. But yeah, if it do. ever gets not banned, please, just once, give me some brood. <laughs> we was playing lately with brood. Uh, and uh, as I understood, you didn't saw that game, but it's it's okay because we lost that game and <laughs> I was stuck. We want to see Brood win. Yeah, please. one win, please. O okay, okay, one okay. win. <laughs> Just for Jake. Yeah, uh, yeah, nice game, by the way. Uh, I really liked your Batrider play. It was awesome. Uh, I was curious. Thank you. The format for this tournament is a little bit different, right? So it's it's two game series instead of best of three. And I know a lot of the time teams like to develop their draft when they're playing against a team like throughout the series but do you just come in to a series with a plan against a team when it's only two games or do you just pick whatever you feel like at the time mm, we don't have any plan uh, we just pick uh, the heroes we heroes we practice with and okay. uh, that's all all right cool easy yeah what made uh, what made this game specifically a good bad rider game you picked it last it's not picked up that often oh it was kind of not the best game for bad rider I mean, uh, they got Venge. Mm -hmm. When the uh, enemy don't have any safe from bed, it's uh, m much more 
difficult to play against him. But yeah. in this game, they kind of got range. But anyway, but Rider was good because we need some initiation before Sven get dagger and um, yeah, we need some early pressure because they got very very strong team fights and uh, void pack. They can do anything with uh, their ultis. So mm -hmm. at least we got bad. So we tried some small ganks at early game and kind of like that. No, well, it worked out. You ended 2-0 uh, in the series. Uh, good luck further. Hopefully we get to talk to you again after another win later on. Uh, but for now, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. And uh, Yeah, th th thank you as well. Yeah, have a good evening too. Thanks. Yeah, goodbye guys. Bye. 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 And that, of course, was a Mag from Vega Squadron, and he played indeed a, a good bat rider to that game. It was a, it was a good series. I mean, this last series definitely a uh, little bit more entertaining to watch than the first series. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> it's whoa. true. Come on, you it's can't... true. You cannot. I mean, okay, sometimes here's the thing, a right? good beating is pretty if, entertaining. If you say sometimes. something in an inflammatory way, yeah, then it's it's flame. But you can't you can't like blame her for saying that the second series is more entertaining because it was. Because it was. Can't blame me for being right. I can always Slats. blame Shiver for everything in my life. That goes this is wrong. also true, unfortunately. <laughs> this is also true. <laughs> we can take a look at the standings and how Vega Squadron is looking after this series. They've played probably most of games of all the teams so far. So far, uh, 10 games played, which is what GP stands for, by the way. Oh. Uh, these are updated as well, correct? And these are updated. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Vega Squadron at a solid 7 to 3 after today's games. They've had some ties, uh, but they're looking pretty solid to stay in that top three so far, to be honest. They've only, they have only have to play four more games. Yes. I mean, honestly, I think unless, you know, a VP, I suppose, and Team Spirit are... I wouldn't be surprised if it stayed this way, is what I'm saying. Okay. No diggity is the only question but, mark for me right now. Hmm. What about Na'Vi? Na'Vi hasn't about played Na anything yet. That is also kind of one of those question marks, you know? After I see them play a handful of games, I'll have a much better idea of you know, where they're going to play. They did good actually. at Dota Pit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very true. Mm -hmm. Navi is on their way. They're on the way. But the one on the thing is... Way. The um, Ewoks are coming. Oh. Oh, reference to Sorry. a few no, hours it's okay. ago. okay. <laughs> I, I was just going to say, like, in this type of format, when you're only actually getting three teams yeah. out of the rest, it's, it's like, if you make sure that you don't drop any games against the, I guess, lesser teams, if you want to call them that, you know, like the newer teams, Adfinum, uh, London Conspiracy, etc., mm -hmm. then you should be pretty confident that you're going to get the top three, yeah. right? And then all you have to do is maybe go like 1-1 one, one against one or two of the other strong teams. Or if you if you get a 2-0 against a strong team, then you're in like super good shape. Mm -hmm. So I, I think, you know, it's going to be a race between those four. For sure. Um, by the way, guys, if you miss anything on the Dream League, and I'm talking not only games, but also red buttons, not only of the ones today, which I believe is still under construction, but red buttons of yesterday and the day before and the day before that, etc. Um, make sure to check out DH Dream League on YouTube. And you can also check out DH Dream League on Snapchat for extra coverage. I don't know if I could call Snapchat coverage, but I think I can. It is yes, coverage. Yeah, it, it is, is coverage. Is definitely coverage. We, we got, got all the social media yeah. coverage. We got all the social they media. Twitter. Twitter. DH Dream League. Sorry, I said, did I say Dream Hack? Damn it. No, no, you're good. Over. you're good. DH Dream League on YouTube and Snapchat and Twitter. So there you go. We got it all. The only one, what are we missing? Is there anything that we don't have yet? Facebook? Tinder. Right? We don't Tinder. have a Tinder account for Dreamly. Jake will make one specifically gotcha. for this. Ladies, yeah. gentlemen. Dream League Tinder on the way. Make really sure to swipe right. That's really I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so not a true. It just <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's definitely not true. <laughs> if you go on the Dream League Tinder, you'll find out just what that is. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> you can't look for people on Tinder. Yeah, you Jake, can. Jake, people Jake. advertise all the time. It's the new way. What? Swipe right if you like Kool-Aid, man. You know, people do that. No, they do not Yeah, they How do. How often are you on Tinder? <laughs> I want to talk about it, okay? Okay. So A lot. Tomorrow, <laughs> we're going to be back tomorrow uh, at 1800. Tomorrow, we're not going to have a doubleheader of anything. We're going to have four separate teams. We're going to have Adfinum, Virtus Pro, Empire, Team Spirit, and it's all going to mash. And it's all going to be amazing Dota fights and battles and massacres and bloodbaths. And if you want to see that, you have to tune in tomorrow. It starts at 1800 CEST. So make sure you tune in then and have a good evening 
morning or afternoon, wherever you are. <laughs>